Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be doing a review of Friends with Boys. It's a young adult graphic novel by Faith Erin Hicks. And this is a library copy I picked up, and it's the hardcover. It doesn't actually have a synopsis anywhere on the book. This is just a graphic novel I saw on various people's book hauls, and I was curious as to what it was about. Couldn't find out because there's no synopsis on there, but I just dove right in and started reading it. Literally finished it in under an hour. It's a very quick read. But I'm going to go ahead and read the synopsis to you uh, from Goodreads. And it says, after years of homeschooling, Maggie is starting high school. It's pretty terrifying. Maggie's big brothers are there to watch her back, but ever since Mom left, it just hasn't been the same. Besides her brothers, Maggie's never had any real friends before. Lucy and Alistair don't have lots of friends either, but they eat lunch with her at school and bring her along on their small-town adventures. Missing mothers, distant brothers, high school, new friends. It's a lot to deal with, but there's just one more thing. Maggie is haunted. Um, the book begins with Maggie kind of getting ready for high school. She's very nervous about it. Of course, you can imagine this is her first situation in a public school, having been taught by her mom at home all these years. So this is going to be crowded with kids. She's going to feel overwhelmed, and she does when she gets to school. But, uh, you know, she, she learns how to deal with these situations. On her way to school, um, let me see if I can find an image of it, she passes through a cemetery. It's situated between her house and the school. And her and her brothers have you know, tromp through there on many occasions. Um, in this instance, she uh, encounters a ghost. And she doesn't seem all that too surprised by this ghost because this ghost has been haunting her for quite some time. And it never says anything, never gestures, never, nothing, you know, we don't know why she's there or why she keeps following Maggie around. Maggie doesn't know either. And this one particular aspect of the story I would have liked to have explored more. I wish the author would have if we could have found out more about this ghost, um, who she is, why she... We kind of do find out, but we don't find out why she's she's a restless spirit, per se, and why particularly she's focused on, on Maggie. Um, but if you read the synopsis, you're really thinking this is a ghost story. And it starts out right away with encountering this ghost. You're expecting this ghost to kind of creep up a lot or be a major, major factor of the book. It's not quite that. It's, it's a bit more of a coming-of-age story for Maggie. Um, learning to make friends and, you know, be in this whole new situation, dealing with her mother having left the family. And in a way, that's where the ghost story kind of ties in. It's As the story progresses, she becomes sort of focused on the ghost, wondering why is this ghost following her? Is it some rest of spirit? Does it want something from her? Does it want her to um, do something that will help her find closure? And she's fixated, per se, on fixing whatever this problem is. And I think the whole point of that ghost being in the story and this whole plot line is sort of like a metaphor for her own situation with her mother, wondering why her mother left, um, what was it that, that sent her away, was there something she could do to fix it? And it's just something that she has to come to realize that she can't always fix everything or that she's responsible for fixing everything. Sometimes it is what it is. And she has to just kind of let it go. So I think that's the main point of that ghost story. But as you're reading this and expecting it to be a sort of a totally different, more of a horror type book, it doesn't turn out to be that way. It is just more about a coming of age story of this girl. And yeah, it's just dealing with, um, you know, what happened in the past with her mom and, and why she left. I, I would have liked that explored a bit more too. We don't, we don't find out why, but maybe that's the point. She doesn't really know either. She can't resolve that situation. I really like the way the author portrayed um, all the the siblings in this book, Maggie and her three brothers. Typical, you know, bickering, but underlying, you can see that they all are very close and love each other very much. Um, the father kind of peeks in and out of the story, um, doesn't play a real heavy part in it, but he's there as well. And I also like Lucy and her brother Alistair. There's an image of them down there. Uh, Lucy's kind of a, a punk kid, has got her head shaved, multiple piercings, and Alistair also has his head shaved. There is an underlying story with Alistair as well. There seems to be some sort of incident that happened in the past, sort of involving Maggie's older brother and the varsity uh, volleyball team, and, and you kind of come to find out about that aspect of the story and what he did and how it sort of has totally changed how he's continued with his life, and uh, I really like that aspect of the story. I thought that was really nice. Um, overall, I, I love the illustrations. The very, I like the black and white. I like, I like the way the um, oops, 
Maggie and her brothers and sisters are drawn, all the characters, even the ghost. <laughs> There's some like nice full page spread. This is her like um, kind of map out of the school and where situations are, where's a nice place to sit for lunch and quiet place to hang out and, and uh, just her ways of dealing with the overwhelmingness of a new situation in high school. Some pages are literally no dialogue at all. It's just the illustrations in the story that, that move it along. And I, I just really enjoyed it. Like I said, if, you, if you're going in expecting a ghost story, I think you're going to be disappointed. And if you go in, just let the story unfold before you and keep in mind sort of that it's going to end abruptly and it's not going to be maybe what you think at the end. There is a, a metaphor to that inability to to find closure or to fix everything you might understand the story a little bit better but um that's about all i'm going to say about it i just i did enjoy it overall i gave it a four out of five stars um maybe just because i knocked it down a star, a star because we didn't explore enough about her mother and a little bit more about the background of this ghost and but yeah like overall i did enjoy it for it's a really nice quick read if you're just looking for a graphic novel to just kind of jump into and kill an hour or so uh yeah i probably recommend maybe renting it out from a library more than actually purchasing it. But yeah, overall, like I said, four out of five stars. Enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.